are Annie and Constantine. And you're watching another episode of... You know, updates! United again! After we've been separated again! After we were united again! After we were separated! So, I've been away the last week. I've been on um, a job job, but a pretty cool job job, for the Off-Road Kids Foundation. It was a summer camp for uh, kids from foster homes, which was sponsored by the German train company. So basically uh, 60 kids from all over Germany for in the ages 12 to 16, like having a blast. All kids coming from, from uh, foster homes or foster families and kids who were especially socially engaged or um, very good in school. So some sort of a um, very big sponsored, like a reward. It was very intense experience. Not much sleep because I was, most of the time I was running with the camera and when I was not running with the camera I was editing the footage because my assignment was to deliver a video about this camp at the end of the camp. So basically during the whole shenanigans I was shooting and editing and uh, exporting so it was it was crazy but it was a very very rewarding job yeah, so yeah that's what I've been uh, doing the last week and that's the reason why Annie had to do the less than lucky updates last week all by herself but uh, I am back again and we are back at it I thought I should point to but I was too late no, it doesn't make any sense anymore. You say we are back at it, and really you're back at it while I am still working on all of the university stuff. I am making progress, and it is moving along, and it's gonna be good. But yeah, I'm still working on university stuff. I am not back to actual film work yet, which is making me a little anxious, but it's okay. Well, to be fair, I have done only a little tiny thing. But then again, we both did it. We made up our mind about the... Uh, website of the Depression Anxiety Life Hacks because obviously we need to conceptualize it first before we can get a quote on uh, how much it will actually cost. So what we yet did yesterday is talk through all the points we want to include in the website, all the features and I started uh, building a little uh, graphical mock-up which is will just be used to be on the same page with the designers who will finally do the website because um, this is nothing we want to do on our own. Nothing we could do on our own if we're planning on ever getting it done. If all works out the way we think, this will be like one of the first major projects we will give away out of our hands to someone else and just be like supervising it. In case the the campaign is working, but it it's uh, all partially or also your do uh, you have to help us to make all things just a friend reminder pointing fingers I am going handheld to convey the closeness that we have dear viewer um, as you maybe can imagine shooting this camp last week. It was a project I've of, of a scope I've never did before. It was like uh, seven days in an environment I've never been before with uh, people I've never met before. Basically completely on my own and in the end there uh, had to be a film that was really good and was important for the people who hired me but also for myself. I shot on average about one to one and a half hours to be able to sift through all that and deliver a 29 minute film at the end it was very important to be a very strict very structured and very zen about it being aware that there's a fuck ton of work and walking through it meticulously and in the end it worked out very well even though there was a little bit of hectic the last day where I had basically to shoot and to edit and to export it but it was only possible because I I was calm enough and I didn't you know break myself so my epiphany is 
that I need to apply this to my master's thesis as well. Being calm, being very thorough, and working step by step, and then I'll be fine. So yeah, it's a very personal epiphany where you probably won't get much for yourself, but maybe you enjoyed my pretty face? So my very good friend Krista tells this story about how, I think shortly before she got her PhD, she went and talked to her advisor and said, you cannot give me a degree because I don't know shit about shit. And her advisor basically told her that, you know, that is what you're supposed to learn from a postgraduate degree, that you don't know shit about shit. There are many things that you don't know, and a few things you do know, and you do the things you do know, and learn all the rest, and, you know, you'll be fine. And I always really liked that story, in part because Krista is one of the smartest people I know, and just a very remarkable human. I've always weirdly liked the notion of, I don't know shit about shit. And in part, it's the sympathy of imposter syndrome. It's that feeling that we all know of, holy crap, it's someone, someone's gonna come in and realize that I have no idea what I'm doing and they're gonna tell me that I don't get to keep doing what I'm doing because clearly I'm not qualified. And I think I went through a little bit of that last week as I'm coming back into the whole grad school thing. And I mean, obviously I've been working on university stuff all semester. I've been busy with all of these things, but right now is that, you know, crunch time phase where you have all of the due dates all at once and you need to get all of the things done. And I was a little arrogant about that because I was good at that before. You know, the sitting down, getting things done, being miserable, pulling all-nighters, but turning in good work. And it's fun and it's exciting to work like that and to, to get that sort of work done in that short amount of time. And I do remember it fondly. And then last week I was reminded of the agony that comes with it, that you somehow, that I somehow just kind of pretended didn't exist and ignored. And now this week I came to realize that I don't know shit about shit. And that's kind of a comfortable thing. It's okay that I struggle and it's okay that I don't actually know things and that I'm sitting down to write these papers without knowing every word I'm going to write. and that I'm entering my project without knowing exactly where it's going right now. It's kind of fun to not know shit about shit because it gives you a lot of freedom and it gives you a lot of range and possibility and potential beyond what you planned and figured out. So my epiphany this week is all about the virtues of not knowing shit about shit. With a big ol' thank you to my good friend Krista. Tell me something about this button. So this button belongs to a cushion that is on the chair that I am currently sitting on. But the other day I moved the cushion off the chair for some reason and the button went flying through your room and I was like, what? Why? You know, I'm kind of impressed by what we've done with the concept of the random bit. The needle doesn't fit through the thing. Okay, maybe my housewife skills are just not what I thought they were. Do you want a third round? Because I can do a third round. That's what she said. <laughs> there. This is what I have contributed this week. This is the great deed that I have done. Hello!